New information tonight on a terrible tragedy has become on the air. Minutes ago, we just learned the death toll has now risen in the Texas school shooting. 18 students and three adults killed, bringing the death toll there to 21. This all unfolding near Uvalde, Texas, about an hour and a half west of San Antonio. Enough is enough. As a nation, we have to have the courage to take action. That was the Vice and President I'm Kamala Harris asking for action in the wake of yet another school shooting in America. Meantime, President Biden just arrived back from his trip to Asia. He's expected to speak to the nation coming up in just minutes. We'll bring that to you live as soon as it happens. And in this small town with only one hospital, the local blood bank pleading for donations tonight. They're asking people to donate. And in fact, a massive blood drive is being planned there in Texas for tomorrow. The Texas governor says the shooter is an 18 year old man from that town and tonight he is dead, believed to have been killed by responding police. Tonight, the motive for the shooting is still unclear. Let's get right to WBZ's Julie McDonald. She's tracking the latest details coming into the newsroom. Julie. Well, David, in these very early hours of the investigation, police are still piecing together the moments prior to this, where the shooter was this morning, to whom he spoke or what he did. But two law enforcement sources have already told CBS News he's suspected of killing his grandmother before these innocent kids. A Texas town will never be the same after a terrifying mass shooting Tuesday took some of the community's most precious members. Uvalde Memorial Hospital confirmed they received more than a dozen children by ambulance and buses after an active shooter was reported at Robb Elementary School. We can expect that these victims are very young as the police chief there said that second, third and fourth graders attend the school. Investigators believe the gunman acted alone, identified by officials as Salvador Ramos, an 18-year-old high school student who attended nearby Uvalde High. Police say he arrived at the school in a car and jumped a fence, armed with at least one gun and possibly a rifle. The Texas governor confirmed the shooter is dead, believed to have been killed by responding law enforcement officers. His motive is not yet clear. Just hours into this investigation, additional law enforcement resources and donated blood for the victims being rushed to this grieving community. And parents of physically unharmed children were reunited with those kids around 2 o'clock this afternoon. They're home tonight and heartbroken for their neighbors, classmates and friends whose families were tragically changed by this.